Regarding the, the idea that the brain can be rewired, I know you, you wrote a whole book on this, um, or maybe talk about it in a lot of books, but specifically the one I'm referring to, The Power of Neuroplasticity. Um, tell me a little about what this, this idea of neuroplasticity is or what the concept is and why it's so important that you decided to write a whole book on it. Well, the basic concept is that unlike what we were taught in school years ago, when we were taught that we were born and by the time we reach a certain age um, in our youth, the brain stops growing or changing and and we basically have, we're stuck with what we got and that it couldn't be changed. And then computer imaging technology um, and other methods came along and we began to be able to look into the brain and watch it while it was operating for the first time. And what we discovered was that the brain is always changing. It is constantly rewiring itself. And that actually happens um, all throughout our entire lifetime. And it, it happens at different depths and different rates depending on age, but it, it continues to happen. So no matter what age a person is right now, um, their brain is rewiring itself right now. And, and my particular interest in that was that, well, how does the rewiring work? And what we've discovered is that in very sim simplistic terms, because it's more complicated than this in, in the brain itself, but the key to rewiring your brain is ultimately repetition. People have asked me, what do you, after all those books you've written, what's your final word on, on what you have to be, to be successful? What, is, what does it take to be successful? And the answer really is repetition, repetition, repetition. So I decided that, that it would be helpful to let people know how that process works, because it's happening in, with all of us. We're all getting messages every day. We're getting those messages from the outside world, people around us, from the media, from social media. We're also getting those messages from ourselves, from our own self-talk. And I began to focus on, on self-talk because it's the one thing that we have absolute and total control over. All of those other outside inputs, in, inputs and, and sources, we can, have, we can affect that to some degree, but, but we live in a regular world. And so we're going, to go, we're going to see media, we're going to watch television, we're going to listen to our friends. And when you begin to realize that the messages that we're getting from the outside world that are repeated are actually programming our brain, and then add to that the fact that you're your number one programmer, then it makes sense to be aware of what programs you're getting now from the outside world, and in particular, what programs you're getting from yourself. Because self-talk, though it's a very simple sounding term, self-talk is actually made up of that entire language that we speak consciously and unconsciously, and that is actually working. It's our, our self-talk ends up being our, our automatic pilot like the computer on an, on an airplane that controls its flight, about 90% of our programs that guide us through our life are unconscious. We've, we've gotten them through repetition. They're stored. And then I would add to that, along with that, that's pretty enlightening to, to realize that. But along with that, when you recognize that the brain, the part of the brain that stores all of those messages, we got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of messages through repetition, they become programs. That, that the part of the brain that stores all that information doesn't know the difference between something that's true and something that's false, or right or wrong or bad or good or positive or negative. That, that capability of the brain is simply designed to store information and then as programs, and then act on the programs that are the strongest, whether they're true or not. And which 
which explains why about half half the world is voting one way in the in the election and the other half of the world is voting the other way they're they're clearly getting different programs but aside from that um, it's it's if a person wants to get better and you start by learning that the key to success is repetition and that you have the ability to create the repetition you need in order to get the programs that will take you where you want to go. That's pretty exciting.